Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you all how to get all the tokens and ticks in Arsenal. Now, this is definitely probably one of the hardest events in the classic event, but I did do a bit of research. I searched around for a couple of hours, well, about an hour or two, whatever. We're just gonna hop right in. I'm gonna to cut to all the locations, show you the area around so you know exactly where you are. And then after I show you all the ticks, I'm gonna do kind of like a token section on my tips and tricks for trying to get some of these, right? So I'm just gonna hop right in and start showing you all the tick locations. Now, if you want, you can get whatever gun you want, but I'm, I'm just gonna focus on ticks. I'm not going to really focus on any of the tokens at all for now, because it's just easier if you separate each run into ticks and specific tokens. Now, I don't even have to cut. The first token is legitimately just right here. We can run right to it. One of my tips and tricks, you can just run past a lot of the dudes if you can. Because they don't do nothing. And if you're able to make it to the next zone but without dying, you actually get to... Like, they all despawn. All the old enemies despawn. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to cut right to the uh, next ticket now. Okay, we're at the next tick. Once you go through the train and you get to this next station after it, you're just gonna come through here. Or see if I can run. Oh, nope. One of them was a gun. So once you're gonna be able to come right through here. Oh my god, there's more. I do recommend not keeping the classic pistol like I am. I just felt lazy and didn't grab a different gun. The second ticks is over here. This is the second ticks that are known before this. So you don't have to worry about missing any. I'm going in order. We're going to cut right to the next ticks. Okay, y'all. So next ticks, once you come out of the second train station, where the second ticks was, we're going to go right up to the third ticks. You're just going to come right up here. Okay. There's no way. Okay, so right out, when you come from the second ticks uh, train station, you can just come right up here. Right, you gotta come through here, jump up there, jump through there. You don't have to crouch jump. You heard the sound effect, there's a ticks. I accidentally already grabbed it on a different run, but um, yeah, it's right there. So now we're gonna go to the fourth ticks. Okay, now admittedly, this section's really hard, so I recommend just clearing it all out before trying to get this tick, because the snipers will just beat your ass and it's not really fun. So once you clear the entire area, you can come up here, right, on the crane. It takes a kind of a bit of a finagling to go on. I got the hang of it earlier. You can jump up here. You go through here. Uh, this is fourth ticks. Uh, let's go to fifth ticks. Okay, once you come through, you're going to reach this hallway kind of with the pillars like this. And on the right, you're going to see this kind of faded hole. You can go into it. This is fifth ticks. Fifth ticks, we're gonna go on to the six ticks now. Okay, for six ticks, after you come through the hallway, you're gonna fight a bit more. There's a big bad dude. You're gonna see this discolored tube that's a teleporter. You just go right in and you get your six ticks. Now you can come on out, just keep going on. We're gonna move on to the seventh ticks now. Okay, we're gonna carry on. We're getting close to the seventh ticks. Right, here's the trap. There's gonna be the zombies. Um I'm gonna stick with this. Now this one's kind of BS. Because after you clear the room. Okay, so we just cleared the room. Once you clear it, it's really BS. There's a little, little tiny hidden wall here. And that's the seventh ticks. So now we're gonna move on to the eighth ticks. Okay, I just found this out right now. It's a little unrelated. We're getting close to the eighth ticks. Um, these are randomized each time, so you have to recheck them. Well, you can't recheck them without the rocket, so... You see, then you're gonna do this really easy parkour. Or come right up here. We can go around like this. We're getting to it. I'm just showing the build up. Once you do this parkour, you'll be around in the back here. And then it's... I mean, y'all see it, right? There we go, I got it. Uh, I think that's 8th ticks. 8th ticks? 
Yeah, that was eighth ticks. Now we're moving on to ninth ticks. Okay, and finally, here's the 10th badge. So, this section's really hard. Um, but the ticks is really easy to get. Just pop the balloon you run in here. And then that's all the ticks. Oh, getting all the ticks gives you a token? Well, I mean, there's a token guide as well. So, I'm gonna finish this up, and then when I redo it, I can start the token guide. So, I'll see y'all in the next section. Okay, so we finished it. How much time was that? 23 minutes, that's not too bad. Um, I definitely could maybe I can get 12 minutes solo if I, um, lock in and don't take, uh, ticks. But, uh, yeah. That's it, so there's all the ticks. Again, we're going right to the token section. I'm gonna give some tips and tricks on kind of how to do the... Why did I get clapped? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna do, we'll do a, probably just a normal, uh, revolt, um, gun run, like classic gun. These, uh, like the, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. This event is difficult. This is, these events are difficult. Beast Swarm and Arsenal. Beast Swarm's not too bad. Arsenal's pretty hard. Now, obviously, it does get easier with, uh, uh, friends, because... They don't add more enemies for um, if you have friends, which is probably why it's so hard solo, because this is intended to be for friends. I don't even know why I fought that dude. Waste of time. So I'm kind of just going to talk y'all through the run. And I made this section after ticks in case like y'all needed the ticks because I had trouble finding the ticks myself. So we're just going to kind of run through it. Again, we can skip all these guys in this first section. We can't do this for every section, but it's okay here. Because we're going right into the... Subway. Yeah, seeing it despawns all the dudes. For this part, we're gonna have to hit these guys, because they kind of body block the other dudes. One good thing about the pistol is that I don't... It has a tiny bit of uh, drop-off damage. But it's not that much, so if you have decent aim, unlike me, okay, yeah, sometimes you're gonna have to run up and just pray you don't die, so you can hit these shots, because gun accuracy is a thing which sucks, we're gonna run through here, hit that, oh shoot, there we go, Yeah, for the noob guys, you could probably just spray. It gets a little rough when you have to shoot from a range like this. Or fine. And it's noobs again, so we'll just get close, spam. Pretty much guaranteed headshots. If you are going for the 12 minutes token, I do recommend always popping fist out because that gives you bonus speed. That's just how arsenal works. It has nothing to do with the event. Just uh, pulling out your melee makes you faster. So there's some uh, arsenal tech for you as well. If you're not an avid arsenal player. And another big thing with this um, badge is kind of health management. Think of it almost as a resource because I mean, that's what it is. I don't know why I'm trying to be profound, but like, you can, uh, if you wait five seconds, you get passive regen. So instead of trying, having to reset the zone after dying, you can just hide real quick and heal like that. And also getting kills, uh, regens you as well. The mafia boss is up here. Let's stay back. There we go. Uh, train section done. What was that, three minutes? Oh. 
Yeah, for this train section, you have to kill all the dudes, which I thought was a little weird when I first uh, tried to run through them without doing them. We're through. And I mean, if you need to, you can also use this section to help find the ticks. If I wasn't explicit enough with my locations. We're gonna run through here, more noobs. The noobs aren't that bad, because you they pretty much just die in a single headshot. If you have to fight multiple enemies at long range, I recommend limiting them to just one in view at a time. That way you're pretty much just dueling them rather than trying to dodge multiple dudes at a time. It makes it way easier. Just gonna run through here. Okay. Now, this section had me stuck for at least 10 minutes on my first solo run. Well, all my runs have been solo. I don't have any friends to play with. But, this part's really hard, so once we clear the noobs, I'll show you what you do. You might even just have to die at first. What I normally do is, I pull up, they all spawn in at once, we're gonna hide. Right here. You'll get jumped a little, but then you'll be fine. Then we're gonna wanna limit one at a time. The sniper dudes thankfully only have like 10 HP. So it's not as bad. Try and get these dudes out. There we go, we got him. One on the roof up here. There's no way I missed that many times. Embarrassing. And again, I just want to say, if you can't get this that easily, that is okay. This is incredibly difficult. I want to say again, because it just has to be said. They made some of these events in the classic event so obscenely hard. And I think, I don't know if it's just because that's intended or if it's just poor game design. If there's no way anyone under the age of 10 is getting this, I'm gonna be so for real. Unless you've been playing shooter games since the womb. Okay, there's another sniper up here. Shoot, I forgot one of the noobs has a gun. Now, if I wasn't doing only classic gun, I do recommend getting this sniper and just using it the rest of the thing because it does a bit, so much damage. It only has 10 ammo, but if you just play back and stay safe, you'll uh, finish pretty quickly. Okay, made it a little difficult. Low. Here we go. We're through. We're noob HQ. It's gonna get harder because it's gonna get crowded, less room to uh, hide. When the big boss comes up, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it with the classic gun. I haven't done it with the classic gun yet. I've only done it with the sniper and the bazooka. And by the way, the bazooka is so ass. When we come to it, never grab it. That shit has so much reload time, it's so ass. But, um... Ooh, shoot. He has a shotgun. Oh, nope. He's gonna one-shot me. Nope. That would suck. Okay, so look. I don't... Did I get the sniper yet? Nope, not yet. I'm gonna focus the sniper. Okay, we can't even hit him from here. Perfect. So we're gonna have to gun duel him up close, kind of. Yeah, this might not be my uh, 12 minutes run, but at least I'll get classic gun. There we go. Not too bad. Okay, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna clear this room, right? And then it's gonna get a little rough. Another good thing about the pistol is it has really good reload time. Okay, just kidding. 
Shitty reload time? I accidentally cancelled the reload, that's what happened. Yeah, it's... This section's really bad. Just because you get jumped by so many dudes at once in that close corridor. If you can get the Mafia boss out, you might be good. But then it's going to be a tiny bit of a struggle again when the big boss spawns in. Because he has like 2000 HP, it's really stupid. Like it is... Like look at that. Yeah. You have to be really careful. Like, I'd probably hide here. Like, because of this dude, classic is barely possible on... Yeah. I'm not too sure. I'll cut to when I figure it out. He's really... You probably... He's the reason you might need friends to get the uh, classic gun token on this. Um... It's really not fair. They really just have aimbot. I'm gonna try a different strat. Okay, strat didn't work. Let's try again. Yeah, because he can't shoot me through there. So if we if we play distance, we can kind of pick him off. It's gonna be rough though. I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna be really safe. He's getting a little close. Okay. It's getting a little too close. Don't want to run over here and heal. Okay. Zigzag. again like yeah this is rough I'm pretty confident you're gonna most scenarios you're gonna need a friend because this is damn near impossible I don't even know how much health he's at. I shouldn't be keeping track, but whatever. There we go. Like, yeah, it's insane. Like, absolutely ridiculous. And when I did it with a sniper, it took me just, um, three seconds to kill him. So my, I'm expecting to get, it to either get easier or... Yeah, they're probably... Realistically, I think the only way they can do that... Well, no, because you can still have friends. Which is annoying. I might have to get a friend under the classic gun, because, yeah, it's like... Classic gun's so impossible if you're uh, by yourself. But we're trying it. Okay, there's no way I just fell down.
Okay, there we go. Nice, so we're gonna come through here. And then this part's a little scary, but we should be fine. I wanna let them walk through the corridor. Right there. Because they're going to want to get stuck. But they're also going to want to jump me all at the same time, so... Mafia boss is gone, it's easier. I'm going to see if I can try... We'll see when I... Because there's the second boss. It's gonna... That's where the real problem's gonna lie. Not all these lamos. I mean, maybe with... Zombies, I'll have a tiny problem. Just because they're so healthy. But they're like basically noobs. They can't even spawn with guns, so... Kind of just light. Oh yeah, I'm almost definitely not getting the 12 minutes on this. I underestimated how tanky some of these enemies are and how little damage pistol does. Okay, we're on to the speedy zombies now. They're a little less tanky. I think they only have a little more than a noob, which isn't as bad. Yeah, I got them. I'm still worried about the green, the EMP uh, drones, because they're really bad. Their AOE attack is so weird. We'll figure it out. Like, it's crazy. The same damage it takes me to do with the sniper, it takes me like four clips with the pistol. Okay, we triggered a couple, get them to come in. Fuck. Okay, that was scary. I got my heart pounding. There's only one of those Inferno dudes as well. And he's never hit me once, which is a little weird. Wish I saw more of those dudes because they're so damn easy to fight. But we can't be that lucky, can we? Here we go. Coming up to a hard part. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I'll have to walk up the stairs. Yeah. There's no way. There we go, I got that. That wasn't too bad. No, fuck, what? Okay. I like how they spawned in out of nowhere. They've never spawned on me before, that's so stupid. What? Huh? 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 Why did they all spawn back? Why did they all spawn back? Hello?
You're telling me they all spawn back to stop me from going in there? Are you kidding me? I love classic gun token. It's fair. Yeah, like, there's no way. I have to back up, but then I just get jumped and die. Yeah, it's like two, like 300 health is crazy. Like what, what do they expect me to do? Yeah, they're up. yeah. No. That wasn't gonna happen. Not like that. I'm making it for it. Nope. I'm just just trying to run for it. Yeah, I can't run for it. There's no way. We're gonna run up here. All of them are gonna spawn back. It's stupid. Are they infinitely spawning? What the fuck? Do they actually make that shit purposely undoable? I'm not gonna lie, I'm starting to hate the Arsenal devs. It's a little obnoxious. There's no way, wait, I did it, 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 I did it. Face fist. Holy shit. There's no way. I don't even care I died right there. I got that. This part's gonna be annoying though, having to find the uh, right bridge path. It's okay, the sacrifices I make. Because they all hit, there's no way to find the right path first try. Without using rocket at least, which I can't do because I have a gun. Well, of course, of course. Go this one. So, red. It's not even like I can check it either. Fuck, man. Please be green. Oh my god. Of course it's double red. But that means there's no way the last one's red, right? Okay, the last one has to be green. Okay, I think it is green. Do we got that? Got that. The only part I'm scared about right now 
is what is it the big dude up there because i'm not sure if that's possible but we'll see easy oh god it's... this is miserable I know dang well. The developer was like, hmm, let's make them use classic gun for a token. Is like rotting right now. I don't know if they can jump over. Some of them are falling off. I'm gonna backtrack a lot to just create room. I think that's the only way I'm gonna be able to beat the big guys if I just create so much room going down there. Unless he starts clipping through the wall and I can um, get him like that, then there's no way. I'm feeling hopeful. Actually got some distance, Dane. You get a decent bit of damage off. What? Jump, jump for it, jump for it. No! Okay, I was gonna say. Shit. There's no way he jumped off! He jumped off! Wait! That's so big! Oh my god! We win! That was the scariest part. So you, now you guys know the method. Make that guy fall off. You can do that with any gun as well if you struggle. I shall now be renowned as Mr. Roblox. That was actually crazy. I cannot believe I did that. I didn't know you could do that. But, you know, that's scary. Now it's time to create the Arsenal Classic Event Deathless Run. Nah, I wouldn't actually do that. I'd kill it. I mean, I wouldn't do that. It'd make me very unhappy. There we go. Save that. I'm gonna duel them from all the way over here. I have like a pixel of leeway. There we go, that's one. Oh, there we go. That's both of them. Nice, okay. Only a couple left. And then the flood room's easy. Flood room's free. Now, I do recommend if you're a normal person, if you're anyone, I'm a crazy person. I belong in an asylum. But normal people should probably just grab their friends for the 12 minutes and, um, what's it called? The classic gun tokens? Because they're legitimately impossible. Well, except until I just prove that they aren't. But I guess it's whatever. But legitimately though, it's actually crazy. This is insane. But we got it. So it looks like I am gonna finish this. So there's the cla with only classic pistol. If y'all like the video and it was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, I mean, it was pretty good. Why wow, my singing is pretty good.
And I even did that faster than my first attempt. But um, yeah, if you found this helpful, if this gave you any tips and tricks, ticks locations, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, comment down below any game suggestions or any crazy things that happened, I guess. And if you need to contact me, there's my Discord down below. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.